In Uganda, a beauty contest was held over the weekend with the aim of raising awareness and ending stigma against those living with albinism. Under the theme Beauty Beyond the Skin, the group has selected 10 contestants to win over the crown of Mr. and Miss East African Albinism Beauty Pageant. The grand finale will be held in Nairobi at the end of this month. Albinism is a rare group of genetic disorder that causes the skin, the hair, or eyes to have little or no color. Albinos face a number of public health issues, and they are routinely shunned and excommunicated from society in most parts of East Africa. Elizabeth Negesa is a teacher in Eastern Uganda, and she faces similar discrimination in her community. They had the marked my cap. If they know that I have used this cup, they will never use it anymore. Or a plate, they just put it aside. What I did, I just now decided to become stubborn. Because everything begins with you. I just started to be, to, to be stubborn. So that's why everybody now had to just get used to, to me. Because if I know you, you're discriminating me, you don't want to share with me a cup, what I do, I time you, you're taking tea, I also come, I sip that very tea. So I just forced myself like that. Change starts with you, is the line that keeps Elizabeth and several others going. Most of people judge us just because of uh, the color of our skin. So it's all about expressing what we are capable of doing besides the skin that we have, besides the color of our skin. Over 20 people with albinism are taking part in this beauty contest to change this narrative. The Albinism Society of Kenya is empowering these people. First we're showing you our beauty, and then we're showing you our talent, and then we're showing you our capabilities. Some are very articulated, very eloquent, and very creative, who can bring ideas that can be used by world leaders to improve this nation. It's singing, dancing, and catwalking. A thrilling session in this beauty contest with a difference. This beauty contest means a lot because we have been having low self-esteem, but this one has come to raise our esteem, self-esteem. Mr. and Miss Albinism is an annual East African event which is looking at addressing all violations of human rights and championing medical attention among people with albinism. The future of this is the whole world accepting persons with albinism, including persons with albinism in all spheres of life, and accepting and realizing that we can. So the vision is ending stigmatization, discrimination, social oppression, myths and misconceptions. World over, the albino population is believed to be on the rise and threats to them are enormous. But initiatives like these are a ray of hope to people with albinism. Solomon Serwanja, KTN News, Kampala.